Well, here, Washington summer has just erupted into rain. That's the sound, uh, if you can see the shots now. We're sitting in a place literally called the Swamp, familiar to our viewers, perhaps more as a metaphor for somewhere that Trump has promised to drain. Uh, but we'll be talking about all of that now uh, with Bob Bauer, Obama's legal counsel when he was president, and Ron Christie, the Republican strategist. It's lovely to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, <laughs> sitting through uh, a soaking wet shower. Um, Jared Kushner, it's an extraordinary intervention that today when he had to come in front of the cameras because, of course, we hadn't seen him uh, because the hearing was closed. And he made that point of saying this was basically sour grapes, that he won a good Trump campaign, that Trump managed to do it, and anyone suggesting anything else was just sort of, you know, being bitter about it. He probably knows better. I mean, we recall just a, about 10 days ago now we had the release of emails that indicated that there were conversations between people claiming to be emissaries of the Russian government and the Trump campaign about some collaboration toward the election of Mr. Trump to the presidency. So in the background here, there are some genuine questions, and Mr. Kushner understands that, I think. This is the trouble, isn't it, Ron, that actually there have been so many inconsistencies. You can call them lies or you can certainly call them untruths. People saying they haven't had meetings that they now know they did. Why would you start to believe any of this? Well, good evening to you, Emily. I would say that Bob and I both understand for having filled out those security clearance forms and having gone through contacts of foreign officials, you have to have a good sense of who you've spoken to and what you spoke about. And the fact that he's had to go back and amend this, not more than once, twice, but a couple of times, it makes you wonder what else aren't you disclosing to the American people? So this you be... are nervous, are you, as a Republican watching this? As a Republican watching this, I say you get it out early. You tell the truth. You disclose to the American people everything that you've done. If you have nothing to hide, there's nothing to worry about. The fact that we see these amendments gives me pause for concern of saying, what else is there going to uncover that we're going to see from this investigation? And even if a lot of stuff is uncovered, we have this extraordinary statement from Donald Trump saying he has the ability as president to pardon. Yes, I mean, I don't know where he gets that idea. There's a significant disagreement about it. Certainly there is nothing to suggest that he's right. There is right. no precedent. For there is no precedent supporting that view, and there is some reason, very serious reason to doubt it. In any event, it's almost certainly a matter, if he chose a course like that, it's a matter that would go before our United States Supreme Court, and I don't know that he'd be very happy with the outcome. So has, has a meeting, if it's taken place, um, been illegal? I mean, wh why are we talking about this in terms of collusion? Because many Republicans will say these were full meetings that were had in good faith by anyone trying to work out if there was dirt on their opponent. What's wrong with that? Well, let's take the meeting on in June in Tom Tower that was arranged by Donald Trump Jr. He'd received an email from an emissary for Russians saying that they wanted to help their government support Donald Trump and they came from Moscow for the purpose of having that conversation. So right there, you have fundamentally a question under our law which prohibits campaigns from soliciting supports from foreign nationals, and it prohibits foreign nationals from providing support to American political campaigns. This must make you feel uneasy, Ron, when you wonder, as you've just said, how much more stuff there is to come out. I mean, the, the bigger question is how long the Republican Party and, and loyal supporters such as yourself can just stand back and, and find excuses or ways to explain away what's going on. Well, as a lawyer, I look at this and say, a meeting does not collusion make. I mean, you definitely have to have a sustained campaign, a sustained effort to get something of value from a foreign source. And at this juncture, Emily, we haven't seen that yet. But I will say this, there are a lot of people in this building behind us who are Republicans who are very nervous, who are from very swing districts who are going to say, at what juncture do we cut the cord with the president and run more independent of him and run for our re-election than stick with this administration? And that's coming very, very quickly. I look at September at the latest that you're going to see a lot of Republicans flee from this administration. Really? Yes. Just go. Just go. Now, if you're hearing uh, cheering and whoops uh, off, off cameras, we should explain it's because there's actually a protest about the health care bill that Donald Trump is trying to pass this week. Mike Pence has just driven in a big motor cavalcade there to, as Ron suggested, bully some of the senators <laughs> into going his way. A lot of that's been forgotten in all this talk of Russia. Do you think that that will be something that he manages to get through? What's your sense of this? It doesn't appear that there is any unified Republican support for any alternative to the health care bill that was passed in the Obama administration. Senator McConnell and Speaker Ryan have tried every which way to find that common ground, and it's just not there. And in part, it's because the Republican electoral constituency is not comfortable with having 
the health care provided under the previous statute withdrawn from. Oh, I think I think we've uh, we've lost Emily. That was really quite a rainfall. It's not like some, not like uh, some feeble British drill. Well, um, not sure we'll get back to Emily. That was really quite something. Well, we move on. Time was.